This streusel, it's really good, it's easy to make. You can use it not only on this cake, but you could make uh, regular muffins, sour cream muffins or blueberry muffins or whatever, and put some of these on top before you put them in the oven. Very many uses. This is a cup of flour. Come on, get out of there. And then I have one quarter cup of light brown sugar, a third of a cup of regular white, half a teaspoon of salt, and going to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I have one cup, one stick, one half cup of cold butter that I cut into cubes. This you do want in, you do want this cold because if, if not, when you go to blend it, you're gonna end up with a paste and not a streusel. So they're all in there, one big dump. Here we go. Again, you don't want to paste, and you do want some lumps of butter in there. There we go. You can see, I don't know if you can see the, the lumps of butter in there, that's fine. That's going to be really nice when you put that on your cake or on your muffins or whatever. So that's our basic streusel, and we can put this aside, and then we'll go ahead and make the cake. I'm going to make a cream cheese pound cake. It is a pound cake recipe. We're going to treat it like a bundt cake. We're gonna make a few changes to it. Um, it's a very easy recipe, and it's a very rich recipe. We're going to start off with, I have eight ounces of cream cheese and three sticks, which is a cup and a half of butter. That's a whole lot of fattening stuff, but this is a really good and very tender cheesecake. Okay. And to that, we're going to add three cups of sugar. I'm gonna get that started on the mixer to get it creamed. Oops, I need this, don't I? Okay. And to that, I'm going to add some vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Pure vanilla, please. That's a little generous. I let it overflow, but it really makes it taste delicious. And we want to really cream this up well. We're going to make these into mini bunt cakes. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Now I'm going to start adding six whole eggs. And there's six. And what I'm going to do is something I always like to do when I'm baking things. I'm going to take it off and scrape down the sides because I can see a lot of the butter is way up on the side of the pan and it's not getting blended with the sugar and the eggs. And we want it to be as smooth as possible. Okay. Back on the mixer before we start adding our flour. And by the way, we're going to add three cups of flour, just plain all purpose flour. And to that I've added a teaspoon of salt. Don't want to add too much at a time because as you can see it just comes back up at you. I do have one of those guards that you can put on here that has a chute that you can put the flour down but this is really just as easy. This recipe I got from a very good friend of mine named Pam. And I'm not really sure where she got it from. I think her sister gave it to her or something. It's, it's been around. It's really such a good, it's delicious, just plain as it is. You don't need anything on it. You don't need any powdered sugar, any frosting or anything. But we are gonna dress it up today with that streusel we made. And 
We'll show you another option you can do too, if you want. The good thing about a streusel is then you don't have to make any kind of a, a frosting later because it's, it's got so much stuff going for it. All right. What I'm going to do right now is clear up the decks and get my pans, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to fill the pans and get them in the oven. All right, we're ready to assemble our pound cakes. I told you we were going to make mini ones. They come in, you can buy these online in a lot of places. You can buy these in a lot of the large discount uh, stores. I've seen these or the big craft stores. You can get these just about anywhere nowadays. I'm starting with eight. This is an awful lot of batter. I'm probably gonna need more. And if I do, I have a couple more over here. I usually make this in one big um, pound cake and not as little ones. I thought little ones would be fun today. So I'm going to fill about a third of the way up on the little ones. Just a little bit more. Take my little offset and just spread it around. And I have my streusel from before. So I'm gonna put some streusel in there. And then add a little bit more of the pound cake mixture. You don't wanna fill this to the top, but about three quarters of the way up. Maybe a little bit more. I think I put a little bit too much in there. But I can always take a little bit out. So that's about as full as you want them. Um, that's still gonna dome on you. Let's do another one. I'm not gonna bore you by doing all eight of them in front of you, but I do wanna show you another option. My oven in this case is heating to 325. Now, if I were baking this in a big pan, again, I would go for that one hour to an hour and 15 minutes probably uh, because of being a big cake. These being little ones, I think the last time we made them in little ones, uh, they were about 32 minutes, but I'd start checking at 28. Now, here's another option. I have here some strawberry, seedless strawberry jam, just the regular kind you buy in the store that you would put on toast. And I'm going to put a little bit in there instead of the streusel this time. Just a little bit more. Try to keep it away from the edges. Try to keep it in the center of it. Then we're gonna put some more of this on. You know what I'm gonna do with these? I didn't think about that, but I think I'm going to because I have so much streusel, I think I'm gonna put streusel on the tops of all of them too. That way when I turn them out, I can turn them right side up and who doesn't want more streusel? I'll even do that with the streusel one. Kind of pat it down so it sticks in. Now I'm just gonna keep filling these up until they're all filled, and then we'll get them in the oven. Well, I've used up all the batter. As you can see, I got quite a few of these mini pound cakes. Now, these make great gifts, like for teachers, neighbors, just get those uh, plastic bags, you put them in, and. Uh, cello bags and then put a nice bow on them at the holidays and you have a great gift and at the suggestion of our camera guy who is also my husband editor and co-producer we left one without streusel topping on the top just to see how it would come out without the streusel topping so I have two four six eight ten of the bunt cakes and I happen to have two of these little pans so we have what two four six eight ten twelve 
So we're going to put these in the oven, 325 for approximately 32 minutes. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna check it at 30 and uh, we'll see how done they are. And I'll show you how cute they are when they're done. Well, here are our small pound cakes, the first ones. The second batch is still in the oven. Um, they're looking good. I let them sit in their pans for about 10 minutes to cool down. You can see I can actually pick up the pan right now. It's warm, but it's not blazing hot. And now we're gonna unmold them. There you have one. There's two. You can see how cute these are. These would be really great. Here's that one without the streusel on top. And we're just gonna keep unmolding them. And these are them. And then when they're really cooled off, you can put one on a plate. I don't wanna put it on here for too long because this is very, very hot. And just serve it individually to a person. Or like I said, you can get those cellophane bags and wrap them up with a pretty bow and make them gifts for the holidays. I hope you try them. They're really, really good.